Hello people, Jen and Plus Mother here. Today I'm going to show show you just a little bit, just a quick tip, a quick tips for people who want to disassemble their Game Boys. For example, I myself replaced the screen of this Game Boy Advance SP Mario vs Donkey Kong Limited Edition. As you see, the other one got the broken screen. So I'm just going to tell you how exactly to disassemble this. First of all, don't ever use the wrong tools. This may seem pretty obvious, but many people try to disassemble this using makeshift stuff and they end up screwing their Game Boys up. Second, you get a box or something to store the parts and several small boxes for storing the screws and all of that. Also, if you can, grab an anti-static bag to prevent any static electricity damage to the motherboard. So, you are going to need a three-wing screwdriver. If, I, if only I could find mine, it's somewhere around here. I saw it yesterday. I'm guessing it didn't fly. Oh, yeah, found it. So, you need a three-wing screwdriver, check the description for uh, a link where you can get it in Spain or Portugal. So, it's similar to a Phillips screwdriver, but it only has three uh, edges, yeah. Then, get a knife, this one is too big, but get a sharp knife take the pads off this one doesn't have the pads anymore because I took them off and this one is still disassembled but whatever let me reposition the camera Damn. the wire doesn't want to move right much better first thing you want to do is remove the battery cover and remove the battery to do this and I can show you on an actual Game Boy working Game Boy you will want to use a regular small Phillips screwdriver I don't know if this one this one is pretty killed so I'm going to get this one which came with my replacement battery just put it there and unscrew this battery covers off and my Game Boy battery pack is here. I'm just going to put it back because I don't want to have this disassembled. I like my Game Boy. So, yeah. Now, after taking the battery off, cover off, what you want to do is Grab your trimming screwdriver and unscrew the screw underneath the battery hole, one which was supposed to be here. Then you're going to unscrew this, 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 and this. Finally, you get this one off and you're good to go. Just pull this it should come off just like that now you have this motherboard which is fixed well fixed I don't know if this is the correct word but grab your beautiful little screwdriver again and you'll see well first of all I'm going to remove these so I don't lose them now I'm going to remove this screwdriver here then this one and then this one just unscrew them and you're good to go of course this screwdriver won't work so I guess this one again yeah this one's coming out be careful and don't lose any buttons be really careful now after you take these screws So, 
now you will be really careful because you don't want to destroy your Game Boy you'll see this ribbon cable here that's why you have to be careful and you want to remove this ribbon cable don't destroy it unless you really want unless you really have a broken screen or anything and you're just going to replace the whole thing and it doesn't matter so I use a different tool for this but you can use well anything to do this job I use this tool but because you have you see this brown thing is here you have to pull them like that the same on the other side and it should come off store uh, this on your put this on your box anything and you want to remove all the buttons as you see I've already taken some I forgot to put them back when I reassembled it so d-pad coming off uh, select and start and the lightning light switch also came coming off finally the speaker it may sometimes be loose in this case it isn't so I'm not going to remove it or am I yeah I just removed it just like that now what you want to do is simple you want to take the pads off you'll see this assembled Game Boy has some pads here you want to take them out don't destroy them I just didn't put them back because what's the point I'm going to disassemble this someday again and this one isn't working anyway because of the screen so uh, some models older models of Game Boy Advance speed like this one have three wing screws here so you'll have to use your three wing screwdriver newer models have regular Phillips screw with this one or well this one right now let's go back here to the back part you'll see this tiny little screw here remove it I should have a smaller screwdriver I don't really like this big screwdriver what did I say doesn't didn't make any sense so just carefully this part should come out now it's like that now you want to open that up you and remove all of these screws afterward you just remove this like that unless I'm forgetting something and I'm sure I am forgetting something for some reason for some odd reason yeah yeah I'm forgetting just close the Game Boy just like that and take the top part done now you can remove the screen which in my case is broken and replace it. I don't have a solder a soldering iron here, else I would disassemble this as well uh, and reassemble it. The thing is, uh, my screen from the other Game Boy has a broken light, so there is no light. This one has a good light, but the screen is broken. So, well. Now you. If you follow this, you should have disassembled your Game Boy. Now let's reassemble it. Close the Game Boy if you have it open. Place this uh, ribbon cable through the hole there. And grab it on the other side. Put it back in its place. Now put the cover back. Open this up, put the screws back in here, and I'm going to close it down. Doesn't really matter whether you close it or not, but well. Now, you want to 
grab your uh, screw this one and place it back in the tiny hole near the ribbon cable you are not going to screw it back because you still need to put this back just place it in the right place place it in the right place hmm. just put it there and now put it face facing the but put the top of the Game Boy facing down just screw it back screwed and now before putting buttons or something you just want to take this motherboard and place it back so uh, really carefully this is one of the hardest parts for me uh, you want to put it back damn this camera angle isn't good let me try and switch this this one can be good because of the damn wire much better I hope so you take this and you want to take the ribbon cable place this back in in the right position just like that of course this is the hardest part for me uh, so this may take a while for me I'm not very good at my hands once you've put it there you just wait a second you just pull the brown thing is the other way I believe if you open this it's easier for some reason at least last time it worked just put the damn ribbon thingy wait a second I'll be right back as soon as this thing goes in you just have to put it like that but that's the damn hard part for me all right come on don't come out you're already there right so I want to put the the brown thing is back in their place just see this it's in the correct place grab your screwdriver slash whatever tool you use to do this and once you put one of them should be safer so just put the other one and I made it back in place now you want to place all of the buttons so first of all I'm going to start by the light switch there is no way you can put it wrong because the holes are cut specifically for those buttons so one goes there d-pad goes here d-pad cover goes now I can put this back where it was d-pad cover goes here Them, yeah. Now, uh, the selecting start button. Mine are still inside the protecting thing, so they will go just like that. And finally, A and B, which I took last time and forgot putting back in. Uh, here's my A button. It's the one with three thingies. Three, oh, for God's sake, this remembers me, reminds me of a new known for some reason. Now, this is the B button. Three thingies in another position. An angle of 90 degrees between each thingy. Whatever I call word. Now, don't forget to put the speaker back on or you'll have no, so no sound at all. Let me think which position was it in. 
like that. Sorry. Just like that. Once you've done this, you just put the thing, the motherboard back. You just screw this, these uh, three screws back and hope for the best. Don't ever turn the Game Boy on while we're doing this. Well, I know there is no power, but better this than uh, ruining your Game Boy forever, right? I'm really bad with screws. Oh, this this screwdriver is cool. The small one is magnetic. Unlike my other screwdrivers. Oh, for God's sake, it's magnetic, but not very strong. Still better than the others. Wait! You damn magnetic thingy. You just took the screw out of the hole. Damn it. You should be helping me. Not making things harder, okay? You know something? Don't tell me this shit is also magnetic. I hope not. No, I can't even take the damn screw out. I have uh, fingers that don't like grabbing screws because they're small. Oh, don't tell me. Hey, yeah, 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 I did it. I did it. I'm the greatest person in the whole history of the human race. Ex yeah. Damn. I have to use the, uh, the other one or... The screws will just come out thanks to the damn magnetic thingy. I thought that was cool, but... Alright, I discovered why the, sc the screwdriver didn't work. This one is the correct one, it's a small one. And I think that one doesn't work either because it's almost destroyed. I'll have to see, right? If you can't do it, just place it like that. And since this is the last screw... Just do this and it should be screwed back. Alright, now we need the power switch. Uh, just make sure the Game Boy is turned off. The switch is turned off, I mean. And place it, let me see, like that. Place it just like that. Oh, damn. Wrong camera angle. Right, place it just like that. So it goes like that, and the switch inside also moves. This way, make sure the switch actually works. Now, finally, you want to place the back cover back where it is supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, uh, I. But if you can't place it back, I recommend you taking out this power switch switch and put it inside this part. Will make it slightly e easier for you. Just make sure it's in the correct position so you don't break the actual switch. Uh, I think mine is not in the correct position. That's why it wasn't fitting, and if you force it, you'll just break the Game Boy, and that's not something you want to do. Replacement parts for Game Boy Game Boys are kind of hard to get today, so make sure the switch functions before before anything. Now you want to screw the screws back there. I'll start by the three wing screws. Uh, each of them. I have so many screws inside of this that I didn't, don't really know. There, I think, there this one, this, uh, just place them back there. If you have uh, regular screws of the same size, regular Phillips screws, well, give it a shot.
can't be harder than it already is. I have I had to buy this screwdriver online and it's already already falling apart. Even though it's a pretty cool one. I would buy it again. Then this USB thing. USB pen box. Just screw them back in place and you're good to go before be careful don't damage the screwdriver this it's kind of kind of hard to get a replacement right two screws to go and i only have one which probably means i lost some So just screwed the two screws left back. Uh, for me, it's just one since I lost the other one. Small thing is, but this isn't these aren't really important. And your Game Boy won't get screwed up if you don't have these. I don't have a back cover for this Game Boy though. I have for the other one, but for this one, I don't. So, place the battery in the cover back. This is your original Game Boy Advance battery. Game Boy Advance SP. Just, just open it and it should function. As you see, backlight works. This isn't screwed. Yeah, but who cares? The backlight, everything works. I'm going to prove it. Let me see my Crash Bandicoot game, which I found. I didn't know where I had put it. I still have to find my Mario vs Donkey Kong game. LC backlight works on the broken screen. So you're hearing the hear, hearing the game. If don't if you don't recognize this, let me show something that you will. Now this won't come out. The damn cartridge is stuck for some odd reason. The cartridge got stuck. Oh yeah. Make sure you screw this all the way down or you'll get a stuck cartridge. Right. So yeah, this was it, goodbye.